Look at this. Look at what she's done. Look at what Annie's been doing and what she's pulled off. We're going to get into more detail about that shortly, but Annie, well done and congratulations. Uh, we are, of course, here at the grand opening of the National Car and Truck Rental Downtown Victoria office. And so this is a day to celebrate uh, business, family business, downtown, uh, and certainly it's a sign of things to come. Thank you for the spirit and resilience and really the, you know, just entrepreneurialism to launch this. Ten years ago we purchased the uh, property and, um, you know, we weren't quite sure when we would develop the property. We went through about a year of design and then probably about another year of um, getting quotes and uh, talking with Story Construction and then uh, getting permits. And then really the building part was the six months. That was actually quite quick. <laughs> I think the grand opening here at National Car Rental Downtown is absolutely fantastic. It's another business to show that we're alive and well in this city and leaders like Annie do a brilliant job of bringing more business to our city. You know, National has been a huge supporter and sponsor for the film industry over the years, probably for the last 30 years, I believe. So we're really excited to see the increase in uh, both their offices and their fleet so that so they can better service the film industry. Um, it's really important for us to have transportation options such as car rental companies really close to the Victoria Conference Centre because we bid on a lot of conventions. And so this location is perfect strategic fit. And we're coming out of a really tough time. The pandemic has hit many service businesses particularly hard. So it's just so great to see the energy and excitement about growth and, and new beginnings. National Car and Truck Rental is a three-generation local family business. My uh, father started a, a car lot in Nanaimo uh, many years, probably over 30 years ago. In those days, you know, a car dealership only consists of one or two vehicles. <laughs> I went to Vancouver Island University for university and then I came back and started working with him and uh, you know 20 some odd years later I'm still there. <laughs> I just come to interfere now. <laughs> so the kids have been going to uh, school and university and Michael did his co-op uh, with us and uh, actually part of this building was part of his co-op and they're all kind of starting to work uh, in the business. Uh, I learned from my parents, definitely work ethic, uh, a lot about motivation and just getting things done. Um, well, I just graduated high school. I'm just going to go to business school, hopefully get some experience and then come back and help out. My mom is probably the hardest working, most you know, successful and just smart business people I've ever met. Um, I've learned so much from her over the years and she's kind of what drove me to study business and you know, work in business. I'm very proud of her and very happy to be a part of this. Well, hopefully, you know, with the borders opening soon, the cases going down, well, people will be able to travel a little bit more and be able to do some of the things that they wanted to do. Um, and we'll be here for them when that happens. So on behalf of the City of Victoria, I congratulate you. I thank you for everything you do for our community. And I wish you all the best for your future growth here in downtown. Thank you, Annie.